Okay, you guys. Uh, what we're going to do today, you've all been a little anxious of what we're going to do, huh? I don't know. What do you guys want to do? No, just kidding. We are going to do, since there's a lot of graduations coming up, we are going to do a graduation cap. Okay? So I have a couple of 8-inch round cakes here. And actually, let me just say just for a minute about this whole taping, recording, live thing we're doing. Um, they readjusted some things, and hopefully you can all see us this time. If you can't, we are going to probably refine things even more, and we will be playing this later at a later date. So I'm just going to continue talking, um, and hopefully most of you will be able to see it, but definitely you'll be able to see it after this. Okay, so back to the cake. Graduation time. Um, I'm going to do a graduation cap. I'm going to use um, just the local school colors by where I live in Murrieta there. Uh, their colors are blue, like kind of a royal, kind of a blue and uh, gold. So I'm going to be using those colors. Most of the time, if it's a high school, they, the hats are colored. And if it's a college, most of the time they're black caps, okay? A lot of times with the colleges, you have to be careful if you're going to use the college logos and things um, because they are usually all have copyrights on them. And usually the colleges are a little... Um, sticky about that. Um, they're kind of like Disney uh, when it comes to copywriting. So just kind of be careful on that. Using the colors is fine, um, but anything other than that you want to kind of uh, just be wary of. Okay, so I've got two 8-inch round cakes here. Now as you can see, this cake actually baked way up. Um, so I'm going to use this to my advantage because I am going to carve this down a little bit. Um, some of you might want to just use, if you're going to do a smaller cake, you can just use the uh, Wilton sports ball pan, just use half of the pan that's rounded. Uh, a lot of times I just try to use either round cakes or sheet cakes to make everything out of. That way I don't have tons and tons of cake pans um, in my closet. I mean, it's enough just to have your round cake pans and your sheet cakes um, without getting all the different shape pans and things like that. So what I've done here is I've got an 8-inch cake board, my two 8-inch rounds, I left the dome on this, so I just put this up instead of cutting it off. I did cut off the dome on the bottom one. You can put filling there in between. What I'm going to do is just take a long serrated knife like this, okay? And then I just want to start to carve a little bit, especially around this edge here. And I'm just going to kind of carve down like a so. We have any questions so far, Mr. Michael? Um, yeah. Michael yeah. is here. Yeah. Hey, gang. Uh, there's a handful of people that are saying that it's freezing and uh, the volume is low and that kind of stuff. That's it's freezing? Some... It's cold where they no, are? it's cold where they are. <laughs> they're, they're having some trouble with their end, but the other half of the people, it looks like a whole lot more people are able to see it. Uh, it's doing a lot better. Uh, so we're doing time. better yeah. this time than we were last time. Yeah, so better. thumbs up better. and better. it's better. we're just keep improving. We'll see how it is. Yep. Hopefully some of you at home actually kind of updated your own what is it, browser? I don't know anything about it. I'm a cake decorator. I don't know about computers. Um, updated some of your own programs or whatever it is that uh, speed things up. And if your computer's not fast anyway, yeah, then okay. you might be that. having some problems. Okay. Oh, All right, so yeah. I'm just kind of cutting this down. Yeah, they we're talking about some echo there. I could hear a little echo when I first okay. started. Okay. So sometimes on the grad caps, I actually... Uh, carve in a little bit more on the sides in case, instead of making it just a whole uh, round. So I can just carve a little more off the sides. And so that side, and then I'll take a little more off here. And since this actually slopes down, this slopes down this way, I'm going to use that to my advantage because I always want to have that mortar board slanting just a little bit. And I want to take a little bit more of this. It's not quite so domey. Is that a word? Domey? Probably. 